Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be looking at Kyla Coin. And if you haven't seen the charts recently, you would not have known that it's actually up like 170%, something like that. As you can see here, it's at $243 per coin. Now, we've made videos on this, it's got a low supply. And I've seen coins like this before that have low supplies, uh, such as Kyla Coin, where it has like 21,000 or something lower, like a thousand coins. And it tends to be a very big like price swing in coins just because the amount that people are mining is like 0 0.005, I believe, for one block. And subsequently, you see like really wild price swings in this coin just because one coin is worth a lot more. I don't know what the actual term for this type of coin is called, but I've seen a lot of them around. Some of them are at like $5,000 per one coin just because of how low the max supply is on the coin. So there are some questions to be asked, like what is causing this price movement? There is not really much market cap on this coin right now, only $863,000, which is like literally the smallest market cap that you can probably have in terms of cryptocurrencies. I know there are some smaller, but most of them are around, you know, 15 million to around 100 million, the ones that we would be mining like on our GPUs. But this is obviously a smaller coin and and this is the reason we're seeing the price very high just because there's such a low supply of one coin. As I said, the market cap, I don't know if that's actually true because uh, coin market cap doesn't verify any of these numbers just because it's such a small coin. But recently we've seen a massive price increase. Now I remember making a video back here at the start of the coin when it was having these price swings up and down. I believe that was just because of the low volume of the coin. But then it kind of dipped off and now it's having an actual resurgence. I think it got down to $16 per coin. I don't know where they got the API data for this because sometimes it doesn't actually register what it is on the exchanges. I think it's taken it from safe trade instead of TX bit because there's a wild price difference between the two. It's around $30 between TX bit and safe trade. Now you could arbitrage trade that because you could get it onto safe trade and then sell it for more. However, Safe Trade does this thing where you have to buy into Safe Trade tokens and then buy Kyla Coin through them. So that's why I don't use it. And that's why a lot of people probably don't use it outside of the US because you need some verification from Safe Trade. So I've been using TXBit to sell it, but Safe Trade, if you're in the US and you've got the, you know, the tokens for Safe Trade, you could probably make a lot of money between TXBit and Safe Trade. And as we see here, the all time low was at $16.58. As I said, I don't know where the API data came from for that, but it's up 1,394% in since trading, basically. So it was down here. This was the $16 mark, I believe. And now it's all the way up to 242. So there's been a lot of talk about FPGAs on the actual network. Now there was talks about FPGAs already being on the network way before GPU miners. However, there are actually some bit streams for certain miners out there like the E300 from Osprey Electronics, which has a VP, which has a VUP35, I believe in it. So if you have one of those cards, there's a bit stream out there for it. And in the KylaCoin Discord, we see the, um, the moderator or the main person who runs KylaCoin says that the Black Miner F1 Plus and the E300 are available to be mining on the Kyla Coin Network. And we're going to look into some profitabilities of that in a minute. And he also said there are probably other FPGAs as well that I'm not aware of. So there is definitely other FPGAs on that network that, you know, people have got privately through Bitstreams and not publicly. So when we look at the Osprey Electronics hash rate for the VU35P boards, it says here Miner Kyla Coin, if you can see there. And the hash rate is 21.6 giga hash with a total wattage of 895 watts. So when we bring this into a calculator at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, we can see we're making profits of $2.60 and a revenue of $4.85. So if you can reduce that power cost, if some of you, you know, you might have had some contracts where you get it lower than 10 cents per kilowatt hour, then you could be making a lot of profits on these E300s. And I believe this is the same for the E100 where you have just one board instead of three boards in there. And remember this is before the dev fee. So I think there's a 10% dev fee. So if we just put that in there and click calculate, we can see that the profits is $2.17.
So there's obviously going to be a dev fee for FPGA miners, but for GPU miners, this is what the profits and revenues kind of look like here. The 4090, obviously a very powerful card, is only bringing in six cents per day in profit. Most of them are not profitable on Kyla coin. This is probably because FPGAs have just kind of taken over the network. And we'll have a little look at that chart in a minute. However, you're pretty much going into the negative if you don't have a 40 series card here. Basically, every other GPU is in the negative at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, 10 cents per kilowatt hour is very hard to get in certain places. So I wouldn't expect anyone to be really that profitable on GPU mining for this coin. And the reason for this is obviously that the hash rate has gone up which has spiked the difficulty. If we see here, we have a hash rate around two terahash. It's kind of up and down between that number. And then like lately in the past 10 days, it's gone all the way up to 6.56 terahash. So theoretically the network hash rate has tripled over the past 10 days. Now we always see that this chart kind of follows the exact same as the price. I've never really actually looked into it. Like what is moving the hash rate? Is it the price of the coin or is it the hash rate going up it, you can never really tell but normally hash rate follows the price but when you look at this chart it kind of coincides with the same kind of movements i know that there's less uh, points of data to see but you can see that massive spike there is 21st of july and then this is on the 21st of july so the hash rate has gone up price has gone up people are mining on this coin it's dropped down a little bit but for the most part it's gone up a lot in the past 10 days, maybe. Now, this is probably because of FPGAs coming onto the network. I know that a lot of Casper coin FPGAs are moving over to different networks. Probably a lot of GPU miners have gone off Casper coin, probably bringing it over to different coins. So people with the E300, they could have mined on Casper coin. It's probably not profitable anymore with ASICs coming in. So they're trying to choose a different coin. And Kyla coin seems to be that coin just because some of the bit streams have been released. I would have thought they would have gone over to Gradient. However, no bitstreams have actually been released publicly, like Team Red Miner have not released them. So I think people are moving their E300s onto the Casper network. And they did mention in Discord again that the Black Miner F1 Plus also can be used for mining Kyla coin. And even the moderator or the main person said at some point the network hash rate went up for Terahash. So I'm sure there are many Casper farms ready to join Kyla coin. Now, Kyla coin is such a small coin right now. As I said, the market cap is super low. It's at 863,000. I don't know if that's verified or not. But for the most part, I wouldn't expect a lot of people to move over to this coin just because it's so small. If it takes off maybe to $400 per coin, then we're going to see more people join the network, obviously, because it's profitable to mine on these miners. Now, there were options if we see here. What other options do we have? We have Iron Fish. And I don't believe that it's very profitable right now on the E300. I think Kyla coin is actually the best bet for moving the E300 over to a certain network. Maybe when the Radiant update comes out for the E300, people will move on to Radiant because Radiant has a higher market cap. So it's a lot more stable than Kyla coin right now. But as we've seen with this, a lot of people are joining the network. It could be Casper miners joining the network. It could be just GPUs mining on the coin because it's more profitable right now but then it did drop down a little bit so somebody took some terahash off the network now lastly i want to talk about the pools so vipernet is the top pool right now and it's not good for kyla coin to have 84 percent of the known hash rate on one pool we already know about 51 percent attacks we don't want that happening to coins that are profitable because it basically ruins our profitability of that coin and then we have to move to a different coin and that's going to increase the amount of hash rate on different networks so there's less profits to go around for gpu miners so i just want to encourage people if you are in different areas i guess just move over to certain pools this one mpool.live is only in france so you could probably connect if you're in europe basically and then retro mike has his own pool if you don't know who retro mike is he's like on twitter a lot i don't know if he has a youtube channel yeah so he's got a pool in the us so if you're in the us i you know, want to say just move over to these pools here just because we don't want any 51% network hash rate attacks happening for Kyla coin. So spread out the hash rate. Let me know what you think about Kyla coin. If you're mining it right now, if you've seen the price increase and what profits you're getting and like the video, subscribe for more content like this.